Black Creek Pioneer Village is a living history museum. We show how people lived in this part of Toronto in the middle of the 19th century, so in the 1860s, the Confederation era is the area that we focus on. And we run um, a number of daily historical programs, we have special events, and we have a village of more than 40 buildings that um, show workshops and public areas and houses uh, from the 1860s. Black Creek is unique in Toronto in that it's the only place that you can come and really experience what life was like in the middle of the 19th century in terms of how a community operated. So not only can you talk to costumed, knowledgeable staff about the time period, you can become involved through workshops, through apprenticeships, through going on our behind the scenes tours to really get a better understanding of what it was like to live in the 19th century. We have an 1860s brewery here. We actually make beer on the property and visitors can taste the beer. They can go on a beer tour where really we, we marry the history of drinking and drinkers in the 1860s with how beer is made or how beer was made at that time period. One of my favorite buildings is Berwick House, which is the home of a middle class family. And we talk there a lot about gender roles in the 19th century and how people's behavior and thought patterns were informed by their time period and compare that to where we are at today in terms of what it is we, we think about ourselves. Battle of Black Creek is coming up in just a couple of weekends. Uh, that's always a highlight here. We partner with a number of reenactor groups who come in and they camp here for the whole weekend. That uh, We have soldiers and their, the camp followers and their wives and their families and their doctors and everybody that would have moved with the army in the 18th century. It is an American Revolutionary War reenactment. This summer as well, we have Mid-Century Carnival, which will be very exciting, more for, more, more for family groups, um, where we're recreating a 19th century carnival with peep shows and dime museums and clowning schools, so I think that'll be a lot of fun. And then we have Quilt at the Creek this summer as well. Uh, which again we're partnering with a local quilt, quilting group and it's really amazing what hanging up hundreds of quilts around the property does, does, for, does for changing the way it looks. Um, in addition to that we have a lot of opportunities for people to get involved this summer. Um, one of the best ways to do that is through what we call our adult apprenticeship program. Individuals come for the day, they can wear a costume if they like and they go and they work in one of a group of buildings and produce an item. So for example, you can do that in the brewery. Uh, you can come and brew beer for the day and take home some beer at the end of the day or you can work in our blacksmithing shop or new this year's uh, spinning. People can spin some wool and take it home at the end of the day.